and welcome to, I think it's the eighth episode of Get Real. <laughs> Great, Ken. Oh, shut up. Alright, anywho, this is the unofficial trauma episode, which means we're going to discuss some trauma movies, which trauma movies are very interesting. Aren't they? Yeah. Fascinating. Anywho, this idea was suggested by one of my viewers, PunkPez13, I do believe. I read what you write, so if you've really got an episode that you think would be awesome, tell me and I can see what I can do about that. Sarah, you're not on the camera. No, terrible. Anywho, this is my co-host Sarah, if you hadn't already caught that. It's like 1 in the morning, so we're a little blah. It's not but... 1 in the morning. Oh, okay, it's nearly 2 in the morning. Yeah. Sorry. I apologize. Anywho, let's get started. Trauma movies. Today. In the order we watch them. In the order we watch them. We're going to talk about Decapitated. I'm going to hold that one up. See, I'm so nice. The Toxic Avenger. And. Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town. And yes, that is Billy Bob Thornton on the cover. No one cares. We'll get to that later. The only thing, good thing about him was Angelina, and they're divorced now. That's right. And his name's Billy Bob, which is kind of cool. <gasps> I like Betty Sue better. Well, shut up. Okay, anywho. Decapitated, directed by Matthew Cunningham. Which really doesn't matter, but I figure you should know in case you really cared who directed a trauma film. No one does. Um, and the actors, we didn't really bother to learn their names in the movie, like as the characters. So why would we really care who they were in real life? The acting was kind of bad, but that's, you know, stereotypical but trauma it, stuff. No, it was bad. They were meant to be bad. They, I mean, they purposely tried. They were, it was, didn't. okay. This trauma movie was actually, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty funny. It the, was amusing. The humor was pretty stupid, but it was, it was enjoyable. I mean, it was, Evil Dead was supposedly the only funny horror movie, the Evil, Evil Dead series. This one is pretty darn funny. It's not horrifying it's at all. It's not it's horror at all. It's the only reason it's horror is because there's lots of bad fake blood. And no nudity. None. Okay, look at the cover with us right here. She looks naked. Well not naked. Well yeah, naked. But um not in there. And then And look on the back. Lesbians? Two girls all getting comfortable and not but none at of that. All. None of that. There was nothing. We got our hopes up only to be crushed by trauma. Mm -hmm. Like, all of them stayed... Okay, wait, now, there was a brief striptease. The only thing that came off was a boot and a sock. It was really depressing. So, foot fetishes. Mm, I don't know. Not us. Anywho. Decapitated was okay. It was funny. It was not meant to be fantastic, so therefore I really hadn't gotten my hopes up. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, it's average. I mean, it wasn't horrible. It was good. It was... I mean, if you have time and there's nothing... If there's not something you really, really want to see watch it, but if there's something, I mean, it's better. So what would you give it? Uh, Five it is for decapitated trauma, Matthew Cunningham and directors we don't care about. Moving on. Hey, this is the one that started at all. Does that mean the trauma thing, or does it mean like, are there, is there a Toxic Avenger too? Yes. Oh, neat. There's like a whole slew of Toxic Avengers. Anywho, the next movie we're going to talk about is, in fact, the Toxic Avenger himself in his sexy tutu. I All love right. that. That was the best part. He stayed in the tutu the entire time. That was very awesome. Anywho, this one was directed by Matthew... Oh, oh can't read. Sorry. Michael, Michael Hers and Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd Kaufman is freaking hilarious. He is like Mr. Troma himself. And he's gay, apparently. Well, that's what he says, but I think he's just kind of weird. Yeah. But um, it was written by Lloyd Kaufman as well. He is the creator of the Toxic Avenger now. The Toxic Avenger is so sweet and so wonderful... And he's a little deformed, but you know, that's okay. That's what happens when you fall in toxic waste. You get really buff, and your face messes up. And your skin boils, and it's really gross. But blind women love you. Mm -hmm. Blind well, chicks. because you have a heart of gold. That's right. Yeah, and uh, the tutu again. Like, he was having sex with a blind girl, and he didn't take it off. No, it doesn't matter when you've like, fallen in toxic waste. You just, bam, mm -hmm. you got it. They were Woo. breaking the roof. They were going at it. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Anywho, the blind <laughs> chick... Whose name was Sarah was played by Andre Miranda. No one really cares. I mean, these are trauma actors, but I want to tell you in case you and, have um, to there know. There was a brief confusion where we thought she might have been Brittany Murphy, and she wasn't. She doesn't even look like it that much. Well, like I knew it wasn't Brittany Murphy, but it kind of looks like her. 
No, well, maybe from different, from the right angle. And if it you're was like a, brief, from the side. a brief image. It looked like Brittany Murphy. Anywho, the Toxic Avenger was played by Mitch Cohen. I have to say, he did a fantastic do- job. Dob. He has a really, I mean, it's going to be difficult to look like that. But he had a, his voice, I don't know. I'm sure it was, was like nice. a suit. I, well, duh. <laughs> it would but, suck if you really looked. Oh, that would be terrible. I bet the, I the actor's like, because he like, really looks well, like that. Well, duh, he would wear a suit, but like, I mean, it can be hard to act wearing that. I would laugh. And then he had a voice. I and the know. tutu. His voice was nice. It was nice. I liked the Toxic Avenger. Um, it had one of the neatest death scenes I've ever seen oh, in my life. With, yeah. with the weights. I'm not going to tell you more than that. Oh, how about we give him a synopsis? What's a synopsis? Like, what happens? Oh, sure. Pretty much, it's this nerdy kid whose name 90 is... 90 pounds. And he mops. And he mops, yes. His name is Melvin, and he works at a local gym, mm-hmm. and these kids are always picking on him, being real mean. Because they're just ridiculous. And eventually, they chase him out of, wi- out of a window into a vat of toxic waste. There's a goat involved, and um, if he can't take a joke, he's... stupid. Yeah, that's right. And he falls out of the window into a vat of toxic waste, like I said, and he turns into the Toxic Avenger, and he starts avenging stuff. Yeah, the avenging. Know. That's avenging. that's pretty much it, until the town gets all, you know, vigilante and whatnot. It was... He's my favorite superhero now. Well, he's definitely the least gay. That's right. But the tutu. But he had sex with a woman, that's... Yeah, and let Spider-Man I haven't seen him do that yet. Well, he, he kind of... Well, he didn't get busy yet. Well, he, he Mary Jane and but that's, he's, that's a he, whole he's new. But so stalker with that. Oh, it scares that's me. That's a whole little. new episode. We have another movie to cover. <laughs> another one. And it sucked. Don't talk oh, about God. it. Yes, we have to talk about it. Then we have to go back and give a synopsis for this one. Okay. We're rambling. I'm sorry. Okay, Toxic Avenger. I liked this one. The humor was good. The deaths were good. I mean, the dude was wearing a tutu. I'd give it. And a... there was nudity. Yes. There was a uh, twice. I don't know, but there was nudity. I think it was the same chick twice, though. There are boobies. Stacy doesn't care. Stacy sounds so, Stacey sounds so lesbian, but I promise I'm not. And, um, the, in, oh, wait, hold on. And then there was sex three times or twice? Twice, I'm, I'm sure of. Mm-hmm. There might have been a third. Possibly, I don't know. We, we zoned out a little. <gasps> okay, anyway. Toxic Avenger, I give it a 7 out of 10. I'm 6.5. 6.5? That averages to something in the middle. I don't care. All right. Six point awesome. seven five. That's not that hard math. There. It is for me. Yeah. Well, you heard my English there, so I forgive you. <laughs> All right. Next, we're gonna talk about Chopper Chicks in Zombie Town. Truth be told, we didn't make it through this movie. No, it's like a hundred minutes, and we got through like fifty-three of them. We probably got through sixty, maybe. 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 Highly doubt it. But you know what? Okay, there were a few good things about this movie. Hal Sparks. Yes. Hal Sparks plays a blind orphan. Mm-hmm. With a gun. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was hot even when he was blind. He oh. had these big old glasses. I'm like, mmm, tap that. True. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, Hal Sparks is in this. Actually, a slew of now famous people are in it. Billy Bob Thornton. Yes, the cover man himself. Yeah, once again, Angelina Jolie, and he lost her. Yeah, we're running out of tape. See the little blinky light? Oh, well, uh, let's hurry this up. There was also Martha Quinn, but we don't know who she is. She was some MTV chick. Doesn't See, matter. It says MTV right here. Directed. MTV's this Martha was directed Quinn. by Dan Hoskins. Doesn't matter. But we're running out of time. This movie sucked. I give it a 3 out of 10. 2. 2? That's like 2.5. All right. And a synopsis for Decampitated. Um, we go on a campy trip, and it turns out that there's this killer. And, and he skips. Um, yeah, that's kind of fun. And there's and nice music that goes with it. Yeah. Skips. And he skips, and he's, like, killing oh, them and stuff. sound effects, fantastic. Oh, yes. The sound effects were awesome in this movie. Like, so random and wonderful. It made it. Oh, it my made gosh. It and there was this transvestite, and there there's was this... There's a transvestite in Toxic Avenger, too. Yeah, there are two transvestites and two midgets, but in different films. Anywho. Mm-hmm. In Decapitated, there's this awesome little subtle joke by the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which I found really funny, because that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, great movie. Anywho, we're running out of time and running out of film, so I'm just going to quickly... Get tell you a pass or rent or buy on all of these. It's a new feature. I just made it up right now. Are you ready? Decapitated. What would you say? I'd say rent if rent. you ha- rent if you have absolutely nothing better to do. Toxic Avenger is a rent or buy. Just like depending on on your 
Rent it first. Rent it first, and if you like it, buy it. Chopper Chicks is a complete just and utter pass. Just go away. Don't do it. Just don't even look at it. Like, you see it, and so we're turning it around. Yeah, and just... Billy Bob Thornton is so ugly, it doesn't even matter. Okay, anywho, mm -hmm. House Barks. Woo! I'm so random. All right, this is the end of Get Real. Right now, I promise. It's ending. We right? We forgot to mention the beginning scene in Chopper Chicks, which is the only good part of it. Darn it!